on Sunday. Yeah, we all know what happened in the second half. So it's up to Motherwell. If we can get in at half time, nil nil for Mark McGee to do some talking. And see if they can get some better chances in front of goal as well as staying tight at the back because at the moment it just looks like Rangers are on the ascendancy and don't really want half time to come. Broadfoot's cross dealt with by Reynolds. Papach. Pedro Mendes for Kurt Broadfoot. Reynolds won the duel with Miller that time. Maybe a glance from Lafferty. Kenny Miller still can't score against Motherwell, and Graham Smith is having quite a half. Yeah, he's having a good time, the goalkeeper, but to be fair, most of it's come pretty much to him. And it's down to Kenny Miller's lack of finishing on this occasion in this first half. Sutton. He's got McGarry for company. It's a stupid challenge, really, from Kyle Lafferty. It's given Motherwell a handy free kick. Well, Bob Malcolm and uh, Paul Quinn adding their aerial presence. It's crowded on the edge of that six yard box. Hamilton is then to whip it in. And somehow, even though it was crowded, it evaded everyone. Even with a ball like this, which is a fantastic ball in, still can't really test McGregor. Porter just sees it flying past him. Expect someone to get on the end of that one. Single minute of stoppage time at the end of this first half. Late attack from Motherwell in this half. McGarry, Quinn outside of him. Stephen Hughes. It's now at the feet of Keith Lasley. McGarry. Cleared by Weir, and there could be time for a quick Rangers assault. Davis. Davis again. That's it. It's half time. And it's goalless. Graham Smith never got to play in the first team at Rangers, but he's pretty much kept them at bay in that first half. Miller and Boyd on fire lately and giving it a go again tonight. Rangers have scored 15 goals in their last four SPL matches. Four of those in the second half at Kilmarnock. Is it going to be a similar story here, or will Motherwell refuse to buckle? Chris Boyd, Ferguson. Mendes for Papach. Lafferty preferred to Novo today. Here's Broadfoot. Mendes, Miller, Davis away by Malcolm. Sutton, Hughes, now Lasley. Hamill available, hugging the touchline. Lasley again. Quinn. Away from Fitzpatrick, goal kick. Fitzpatrick uh, looks forlornly towards referee Steve Conroy. Well, I know it's going to be very important for Motherwell to keep it tight in the first ten minutes of the second half. Just from Rangers' recent performance against Kilmarnock, but as Terry Butcher said at half-time, Motherwell look 
stronger in that department in this match. Well, he was given a warning towards the end of the first half, and he's got a bit to say there to Steve Conroy. Who oh, doesn't look too happy with him. I think that was Steve here. Bob Markham then over this free kick. The likes of Quinn and Reynolds to aim for as well as the strikers, although it's going to be Stevie Hamill, first point port of call, now Fitzpatrick. Davis, Miller. Reynolds standing firm. Pedro Mendes gets the free kick. Off McGarry. Pedro Mendes quickly for Kenny Miller. Nipping him round the back. Chris Boyd in the middle, but uh, that's a pretty desperate delivery from Miller. Yeah, it was a desperate delivery, but look at the run. It's perfect in the corner. He maybe should have just chosen to go the opposite direction and hold the ball up for supporting players, but he was trying the early ball for his striking partner. Motherwell may have made a slow start to this season, but they're only one point worse off than at this stage last season. Only three points off third place, as it stands. Well, they'll do another run of games coming up in the next little while that they will expect or hope at least to win. Porter. Hooked away by Pedro Mendes. Stephen Hughes for Paul Quinn. McGarry goes around the outside. Lasley. Hamill. An easy take for McGregor, and he's not hanging around. Miller beats Quinn to it. It wasn't a great header by Malcolm. It wasn't a great cross again by Miller. Well, that's been a big difference as well, though. At least Motherwell and John Hartson said it at half time have managed to get the full backs, Hamill and Quinn, up the park, getting crosses in something that Rangers have not managed to do, it's been coming more from Kenny Miller himself. Stephen Hughes, Pedro Mendes, releasing Carl Lafferty. Lafferty is still going, and he's managed to play it off the back of Barry Ferguson's legs. Porter. Came David Weir. It just shows you that Motherwell, even playing the 4 4 2 formation, they're able to get pretty good natural width into their game. As I've highlighted, and so also in the Kilmarnock game with Rangers, even though they went on to score a barrel load, they couldn't really get the width. Another free kick given away by Bouguera, and he is treading carefully. Bob Malcolm. Sizing it up again, Hamill also there, and it's left for Hamill this time. McGregor able to get across better comfortably though. Chris Boyd running beyond Reynolds. Davis. Papach. Lafferty. Papac, and Miller, oh dear, there were no takers on the edge of the area for Rangers, none whatsoever. I think that was a clever ball though, he's just got to have some support from midfield, there are only two in the box. Pedro Mendes releasing Stephen Davis, in first time for Boyd, no goal still. There's a 100% chance 
Normally speaking, that's in the back of the net. This time, the way the game has gone so far, it goes wide. Papach. McGarry. Quinn. Turning away from Mendes. Lasley now for Hammer. Reynolds for Malcolm. Quinn. McGarry. Taken away from him by Mendes and Miller now for Boyd. Motherwell had two men on him. Weir. Mendes. Lasley for Sutton. John Sutton now. Fitzpatrick. Sutton again. Lasley. Hughes. Into the path of Quinn. Porter! It's pushed over by Alan McGregor. It just rises a little bit and that makes it a little bit easier as well for McGregor. He still had to be there, the goalkeeper. Lower and harder across the face of the goalkeeper would have made it a lot more difficult. Encouragement for Motherwell, who edge ahead on the corner count. And they edge ahead on the goal count. Hamill floats it in. Porter challenging. It's Bouguera, though, who can uh, deal with it. Well, that's three chances now for Kenny Miller. One good one for Boyd. A couple for Motherwell, Lasley and Porter. Sutton beavering away, Lasley. Hughes. McGarry. Porter. Bouguera's clearance only goes to Lasley. Decent little spell from Motherwell. McGarry. David Weir decides to deal with it. Lafferty for Papach. <laughs> nice one. That always happens after you get a new contract. <laughs> well, second half, Motherwell in control as far as possession is concerned. But in the first half, can they make it count? Ben Crawford, have a goal kick out of that. Well, in his first spell as Rangers manager, Walter Smith lost more games to Motherwell than any other club. Twice held here last season. It's been a goal at Tannadice, and Darren Dodds has got it against one of his former clubs. Dundee United really going well. One up on Hibbs. So a goal in the other four matches being played this evening, but none yet at Fir Park. Papach turned away by Malcolm. And then by Quinn, Porter, Hughes. <laughs> Gary, Lasley, Hamill. Fitzpatrick, Lasley. Fitzpatrick for Hughes. Decent this from Motherwell. McGarry. Quinn. Overhit. Yeah, overhit. Just a little bit all round overdone on the passing. 
at times they have to be a little bit more incisive. Mark McGee looking on. I think he'll be quite happy though with the way his side are playing. McGarry. Well, it was interesting before the match, Walter Smith talking about Barry Ferguson and that he may not have started him tonight had Kevin Thompson been fit. I think he needs just a couple more appearances and you can see that in the match. It's not quite been in it. Barry Ferguson returning to the starting lineup for Rangers. Timely return with Kevin Thompson out. Offside against Kenny Miller. It does take a long time to get back into your stride, even for a player of Barry Ferguson's class. It's just about getting your, your touch and getting into the match pace. Walter Smith understands that. Another one on the prowl again. Lasley. Neither here nor there, though. Lafferty's on trip, and now Boyd. Boyd looking for Miller, and he's found him. Although Miller held up. Ferguson, Davis. Miller made it his, but his head is way off target. Two strikers trying to link up. Boyd made a fantastic pass with his left foot out to Kenny Mullen. I just thought that the Miller didn't take the touch when he could have. If he'd come on to it more, taking the ball as it landed, he could have been in on goal. Was a reverse of uh, Miller's pass to Boyd at Kilmarnock at the yeah, weekend. Yeah, exactly. Lafferty now. Quick burst from Kyle Lafferty. Another fair save from Smith. Yeah, it was. I think this takes a touch from Quinn on its way through. Again, Lafferty far more comfortable coming in off that left-hand side. Certainly bobbles before Smith gets to it. And good save. Oh, Only Inverness and Hamilton have let in more goals than Motherwell in the SPL this season, but they've scored a few as well, Motherwell. In fact, only the old firm and Dundee United have scored more. Weir. Miller. It's a better ball. Davis. Support arriving from Kurt Broadfoot. Davis rises with Lasley. McGarry. Fitzpatrick. He's skipped off Porter. Davis and Bob Markham lunging in. Ferguson. Davis let it go for Miller. Kenny Miller crowded out. Pedro Mendes. Room to have a go! Struck it well. Held well by Smith. You're right, and it was held well because Boyd was following up. It opened up here for Mendes, and he did fear for Motherwell at that point. Didn't quite get hold of it, but the keeper was there anyway. Where? Davis. Lafferty, Papanch, Mendes, Ferguson, Broadfoot. A search for a goal goes on at Fir Park. Davis, and it's booted away by Malcolm. 
Motherwell just sitting slightly deeper now. They can't get into possession over the last five minutes or so and keep it. Rangers trying to turn on the pressure a little bit more. Mark McGee anxiously watching. Fitzpatrick, Motherwell get the throw. Lasley. Quinn. Ferguson. Well, Reynolds had to uh, pit Lafferty to that, he did. Now McGarrick. And the United have tuned it up against Hibbs now, and Francisco Sandaza has made it four goals in three games for him. Davis, Miller chasing. Broadfoot. Smith certainly had a confident game. He has played well. To see there, Broadfoot so keeping forward a little bit more, swinging balls in from that right hand side. You know that he will go on for the full 90 minutes. Quinn. Hughes. Bobbled away from Fitzpatrick. Ferguson. Davis, Miller, points onto it, and Hamill closed in, goal kick's been given but uh, Chris Boyd feels otherwise and he's uh, giving the assistant referee a near bashing. Yeah, well, he's both disappointed they don't get a corner from this and also, tell you what, he's going to be going across Smith, he's wrapping his foot around it, Hamill comes back into it and blocks it off. Sutton. McGarry. There's no way in for Sutton. Bagheera making sure of that. And assisted now by Pedro Mendez. Motherwell just looking a little bit stale at the moment. They may need to make a switch just to freshen things up a little bit. Celtic one up on Kilmarnock through Killian Sheridan. Rangers will want to uh, match their results. They don't want too much of a gap opening up, even at this stage of the season. Lafferty, miserable. Well, it wasn't a good finish at all, but he's certainly been more involved in the second half since coming in a lot more centrally, in much the same way as Nacho Novo did against Kilmarnock in the first half. Boyd, Davis. Papach. He's picked out Miller. Into the path of Lafferty! And it's another poor finish. Yep, we just talked about it. Again, he finds himself in that area. He's come way in now. Miller sets him up and you felt that all he had to do there was get his head over it and keep it on target he couldn't do that big chance woefully wasted by rangers well, the goals came for them in the second half at kilmarnock it's not happening here yet Broadfoot. Oh, 
Mendes waiting for the ball to come down. Papac. Lafferty. Papac. Pedro Mendes. Now Kurt Broadfoot. Certainly, the home side need to start thinking, Mark McGee in particular, because they're getting deeper and deeper. You can't keep the ball, the strikers are not in the game anymore. Offside, Chris Boyd. Great finish, one count. That's typical, isn't it? The whistle goes and the ball goes in the net. Is he offside? I'll tell you. Oof. I think that's online, I really do. And I think you should give the benefit to the striker anyway in that area. We certainly finished it. We're into the last 20 minutes. And that's going to drop just wide. It's Patrick. I just think that Motherwell have tired slightly. They put so much into the game for 70 minutes, particularly in that central midfield area. Hughes and Lasley have played a really fine match tonight. At the back as well, they've been pretty comfortable. Although now it's looking more difficult. Miller now for Boyd, who appeared to give Malcolm a bit of a nudge. Broadfoot, Ferguson, powered away by Reynolds. For Park, doesn't do nil-nil draws generally, there's only been two in the last seven years here. And Kenny Miller has got a corner. And yet again, Kenny Miller, great performance again tonight, all over the place, helping his team out, but... It's just been those chances, we've taken them, it was game over. Davis takes the corner, Lasley sends it on its way. Here's Pedro Mendes, Davis again, makes room for another cross. And Smith couldn't get too close to that one. And it's a little frantic now for Motherwell. Yeah, you can feel it, can't you? The goal is coming. McGarry, who's it coming for though? Pedro Mendes. Handball, Steve McGarry. Sends that out. Rangers desperate to grind out a victory. With Celtic leading in their game. Lafferty loses out to Malcolm, though. David Weir for Pedro Mendes from Majid Bouguera. Off Ferguson, Malcolm. Range have gone incredibly narrow now. Davis tucks right in, as has Lafferty as well. Almost four up front at times. Lafferty, Davis, Lafferty again, Ferguson. He's a catch for Smith. He's certainly done his bit for the Motherwell cause tonight. Papach. 
Mendes. Weir. Into the head of Markham it goes. Lafferty grounded. Motherwell's throw. Well, this is a perfect example to those out there watching on screens and also in the stands that when a team sits back deeper how much more difficult it is to get out to keep possession and then you allow the opposition fullbacks to come on to you and just as I'm saying that Nacho Novo looks like he's going to come on to compound the pressure on the home side Broadfoot Bouguera Chonova will replace Kyle Lafferty shortly. Offside. Porter. Quarter of an hour remaining. And Miller looking to latch onto it. Quinn turned it away, but Papach now can keep the pressure on. <laughs> There's been a few like that tonight. It's actually took a nick on the way off a of Motherwell body that tried to range his throw. A throw that I don't think even Rangers were expecting. Here comes that change. Now Lafferty being replaced by Nacho Novo, who's more than capable of nicking a goal. Scored against Motherwell at Ibrox in September, scored a few times against him in a Rangers shirt. Well, he hit the post in the last match. Can he go closer still? Away by Fitzpatrick. Pedro Mendes. And again. Nacho Novo. Didn't get to it in time. Goal kick. It's getting very difficult for the home side. They're just trying to hang on now. Midfield players can't get anywhere near their strikers. I just wonder if Mark McGee will think about shoring things up. It's not really in his makeup, but a point's a point. Last time Rangers came here, they just lost the UEFA Cup final last season. And Motherwell dented their title aspirations with a 1 1 draw. It's proving hard work again for Rangers at Fir Park. There certainly would be an argument for taking the likes of Porter off and putting an extra midfield player in there. Porter. Lasley. It's a clever ball. Not quite so clever from McGarry, though. Well, it wasn't, but... Certainly, Lasley's had a very, very good match tonight in that central midfield area. Up against Mendes and Ferguson. Both he and Hughes have played really well. Well, they're going to throw on young Jamie Murphy soon. Chris Porter. Stephen Hughes goes for the curler. Oh, what a fantastic save from Alan McGregor because it looked a goal all the way. It really did. It opened up, but he still had to make it, Hughes. Stephen Hughes almost scoring against his former club. Top draw save from McGregor. Here comes the corner, though. Sutton trying to get near it. And there's been a clash of heads. There's a Rangers body down. It's Papach. Well, Whitaker came on and scored against Kilmarnock with a, a wonder goal, really, a fantastic finish. Can he do the same again today? 
Some concern for the state of Sasa Papac, though. Papac off, and Whitaker on. He himself has been out long term. Whitaker had an operation to remove a cyst on his knee. Goal scoring return at Kilmarnock. Terrible injury to Kevin Thompson at the weekend, of course, and now Papac stretch it off. Well, Godfrey will go across the left back and Whitaker in it right back. Changing the balance there. where would-be champions have to grind out three points, really. Can Rangers do that? Or will Motherwell snatch it? Novo. Up against Reynolds, free kick for Reynolds. Well, Reynolds has played well. Looking a lot more consistent alongside Bob Malcolm. Hasley and Davis doing battle. Davis, Novo, Chris Porter taking on where Mendes slides in though. That's a great run though, isn't it? To work so hard. 82 minutes in the game, 60 yards sprint down the right hand side. Potential for a long throw by Paul Quinn. Potential for a short one as well, as Stephen McGarry made himself available. Hughes having another go, and that took a deflection. Corner for Motherwell. This be a massive moment in this match. McGarry's corner into the mix. Picked away by Miller. Hughes. Hughes shakes off Miller. Ferguson clears it, only to Bob Malcolm. Pedro Mendes, Nacho Novo chasing this. Mark Reynolds, though, first to it. Davis away by Reynolds. Ferguson putting himself about a considerable effect. Miller's cross. Drifted away from Novo. Whitaker. This cross was duly dealt with by Reynolds. Pedro Mendes floated in. Porter. Lasley, John Sutton, David Weir in front of him. Whitaker into the last five minutes. Nova and Boyd hunting, but it's one well by Reynolds. Here's Davis, though. Miller. Goal kick came up Nova. Time ebbing away for Rangers. Well, Rangers certainly cannot say that they haven't had the chance in this match. We've had plenty of them and good ones too. 
That's the one thing they have been doing in recent matches, creating lots of chances, but they've also been scoring them. And this is one night where it looks like that might not happen, it's going to cost them points. But all credit to Motherwell, they've played so well in this match. Inverness have equalised against Falkirk, Adam Rooney with the goal. Celtic two up on Kilmarnock, Dundee United two up on Hibs. Hearts one up on Hamilton. Sutton. Here's Lasley, who's been all action for Motherwell. Shinsky Nakamura has made it Celtic 3, Killy nil now. No problems scoring for Celtic tonight, but it's not the same story for Rangers. And it's going to be a nervous end to this game as both teams look for what would surely be a winner now. Here's Lasley, who's put in one heck of a shift for Motherwell. Loose from Davis, but Ferguson is able to smuggle it through to Novo. And Fitzpatrick did well. Well, he did well to uh, keep up with Mendes. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, that's just <laughs> gets it anywhere. Uh, a moment of panic, we think so. <laughs>